The film introduces a young and brilliant artist, Leonardo da Vinci, known for his inventive mind. In a world of advanced wooden machinery, Leonardo shares a close bond with his friend Lorenzo. Together, they test one of Leonardo's creations. While on a bridge, they meet Chaco, a painter with whom Leonardo feels an unspoken connection. Energized, the trio visits Lisa, a woman Leonardo secretly admires. He leads them to a lake, where he unveils his latest invention, a wetsuit. Leonardo enters the water, but a brief mishap occurs when Lorenzo forgets to pump air. Luckily, no harm is done, and Leonardo explores the depths, finding nothing but feeling accomplished. Upon returning to the village, they discover Lisa's family plantation in ruin. Lisa's father faces losing their home, and she blames herself for not going to the lake earlier. Leonardo, racked with guilt, wishes to help but lacks the means. Chaco, moved by Lisa's family's plight, offers to help Leonardo by suggesting he deliver a letter to a friend in Florence. This opportunity could allow Leonardo to work in an art gallery and earn money to aid Lisa and her father. Leonardo agrees and, with Lorenzo, prepares for the journey, asking Lorenzo to keep it a secret from Lisa. However, Lorenzo, unable to deceive her, reveals their plan. As they travel through the woods, Lorenzo overhears a conversation about Leonardo, but is caught and arrested. The next day, Leonardo is surprised to find Lisa instead of Lorenzo, who left her letter explaining that he had to leave due to his father. Leonardo and Lisa continue to Florence, where they search for Chaco's contact, only to learn he's out of town. They are directed to the market, where Leonardo's art might attract interest. Instead, they encounter odd characters, witness a street performance, and hear a tale of a treasure-laden shipwreck. Leonardo desires a map of the treasure, but lacks the money to buy it. Leonardo offers one of his paintings for the map, but the man surprisingly gives it to him instead. With the map in hand, Leonardo plans a treasure hunt, though Lisa is wary of the storyteller. Suddenly, the girl who stole the apple grabs the map, prompting Leonardo to chase her. He catches her, and she introduces herself as Agnes, demanding to join them. Reluctantly, Leonardo agrees. Joined by Niccolo, an astronomy enthusiast, they follow the map to an island where the treasure is said to be hidden. Meanwhile, Lorenzo, captured by a pirate, escapes with the help of a clever mouse and seeks out Chaco. Together, they hurry to warn Leonardo of the danger. Leonardo dives into the sea to search for the treasure, but finds only the remains of the ship and lurking sharks. Disappointed, he tells his companions the treasure may have been stolen long ago. Lisa, devastated, confesses she might have to marry the mayor's son to save her family from financial ruin. The two pirates soon inform their captain about the possible treasure beneath the sea. He orders his crew to dive, but without proper wetsuits, they fail. Meanwhile, Leonardo and Lisa discover the pirates' activities and secretly board their ship. They find a letter detailing the treasure, but must hide when the captain enters, confirming they are being followed. Leonardo recalls seeing two rudders during his previous dive, realizing there are two sunken ships. He dives again and finds a hidden cave with a stranded ship, where he and Lisa discover a treasure chest. However, pirates soon steal it but can't open it. The pirate captain captures Niccolo and Agnes, threatening to feed them to sharks unless Leonardo opens the chest. Leonardo uses dolphin sands to unlock it, revealing the jewels. He escapes with the treasure while Lisa and the children remain captive. The pirates pursue him, bent on revenge. In a desperate attempt to lighten his load, Leonardo throws the treasure into the sea, infuriating the pirate captain. In retaliation, the captain sets off an explosion, damaging Leonardo's vehicle. For a moment, Leonardo considers surrender, but a fierce determination ignites within him, compelling him to fight back. With the dolphin's help, he takes to the sky, using his vehicle's wings to evade his pursuers. The pirates fire cannons at him, but the cannonballs ricochet, damaging their own ships. Seizing the moment, Leonardo quickly leads Lisa, Agnes, and Niccolo onto a nearby vessel, which turns out to be manned by Chaco and Lorenzo. They recount their harrowing adventure, unaware of Chaco's true motives. In a shocking twist, Chaco reveals himself as the real pirate captain, having been undercover all along to observe Leonardo's diving expeditions. He betrays them, ordering his crew to capture Leonardo and his friend. Chaco realizes that Leonardo holds the key to retrieving the treasure from the sea. He admits to orchestrating events, including the burning of Lisa's family plantation. Fueled by anger but feeling powerless, Leonardo faces Chaco. Suddenly, Niccolo warns them of the approaching demon of darkness. At first dismissed, their skepticism turns to dread as the sky darkens and the sun fades. Chaco's crew panics, jumping into the sea, unaware that it's just a solar eclipse. Leonardo seizes the moment, overpowers Chaco, and claims victory. Soon after, Leonardo and Lisa return to the village, where the mayor and his son arrive to collect Lisa's family debts. Without hesitation, Leonardo pays off the debt with part of the treasure he salvaged. With the financial burden lifted, he finally finds the courage to express his true feelings to Lisa. As the film concludes, their love story blossoms, hinting at a hopeful future together.
Leo da Vinci, Mission Mona Lisa, is a delightful animated adventure that brings a playful twist to history, reminiscent of Disney's Goldie and Bear rather than the more historically accurate Mulan. This film transports viewers to a fantastical version of the Renaissance, where action and romance intertwine as it creatively explores the mysterious identity of the Mona Lisa and her connection to Leonardo da Vinci. While it doesn't focus on historical precision, it effectively captures the excitement of the Renaissance, a period rich in inspiration and invention allowing for a light-hearted and entertaining narrative. The animation style is both familiar and engaging, drawing inspiration from family-friendly shows like Netflix's Beat Bug. It features exaggerated character designs and archetypes that prioritize fun storytelling over realism. The film successfully combines vibrant visuals with engaging narratives, filled with silly jokes and clever nods to Da Vinci's renowned works. This creates an enjoyable experience for children, complete with a sweet, albeit slightly problematic, love story woven throughout. In today's content-saturated landscape, Leo da Vinci Mission Mona Lisa emerges as a refreshing, worry-free cinematic choice for families. With no explicit violence or inappropriate language, it offers wholesome entertainment that parents can feel good about sharing with their kids. The film provides over an hour of fun, making it a perfect pick for anyone seeking light-hearted adventure. Overall, it embodies the spirit of family-friendly entertainment, inviting viewers of all ages to enjoy a charming tale without the distractions often found in modern films. Thank you very much for watching the whole video. And if you have a movie or TV show that you want us to cover, just comment it down below. We'll make a video of it in the future. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out our playlist for more recaps.